am number one, not number two If I'm not the one, I'm uncomfortable See the competition I've been running through Leveled up, I only see him in my rear view Switch. Yeah, I'm ballin', yeah, I'm ballin', been ballin' Switch. Yeah, I'm ballin', yeah, I'm ballin', been ballin' yeah. I'm winning, get buckets from the court side to the nosebleeds Yeah, they love it, yeah, they love it Winning, get buckets on the first in and the last out, see me coming First take, I'm hotter than hot Hotter than some boiling water, I bubble the pot Team full of ballers, baby, we winning a lot I'm like Curry with the rock when I get to my spot I'm tapping in, I'm passionate This is what passion is This here, nah, this is no accident From the start to the finish, I'm cashing in I am number one, not number two if I'm not the one, I'm uncomfortable. See the competition I've been running through. Welcome to Chapel Hill, North Carolina, and Keenan Memorial Stadium, home of the North Carolina Tar Heels. And basketball may be in the blood, but football is certainly in the soul. What a game and what potential drama we have in store. You've seen this script before. Top 10 team goes into a cauldron of emotion on the road and just hopes to be able to get out and tell about it. As we'll see, the number six team in the country, the Notre Dame Fighting Irish, taking on the 21st ranked team in the land, the North Carolina Tar Heels. On the outside will be a great matchup. Wants to throw, it's Harold. They're working body catches and do it getting your feet in bounds. That was sweet. Got enough for the first down. Looking for room. It's Hemby. At the 40. There he goes. And six yard pickup on first down. Leaves him with second and four. Ball in the air. Intercepted. Never really got that return cranking, but the offense is set up at the 30. And that's just excellent coverage. Man, cover one, nowhere to throw the football. Look at everybody playing man across the board, and you still got the safety in the middle of the field. Nobody open, and if I'm the QB man, I don't need to force it. I don't force it into tight windows if it's not there. He throws it, unfortunately, gets the interception. Bad decision by the QB there. Takes the handoff. It's pain. And here. They'll give it to the back. Pass the sticks and still on his feet. He's looking for an open man on second down. Takes a shot as he lets it go. And a penalty flag comes in as that one falls incomplete, but this is going to be a positive play for the offense. Defense with pass interference coming. They run the reverse. Break a lot of tackles. You really got to do a good job of trying to scheme ways to get him out in more space. Oh, and he missed it. No good. And guys, after the miss, no change in the score. Well, that's one the kicker would like to have back. That's a kick he should be making in his sleep. On third and long, he has to throw for it. Got his man downfield. Ripped off a huge chunk play on that one as he gets the first down before he steps out of bounds. And this defense is going to have their hands full because they're going to need to be comfortable with guys one-on-one -on, -one on islands in the perimeter of the field. And they're just going to have to make better plays than what we saw right there. They knew this offense was going to try to be aggressive. Got to need better effort in the back end for this defense moving forward. They'll throw it on first down. Wide open downfield. There to make the for you accomplishing your goals and dreams. Yeah, he's probably experiencing the emotional spectrum coming into this game, but make no mistake about it. He has to separate himself from his two for two on this drive and trying to do it again and score a touchdown. They'll run it. And makes his way into the end zone. Touchdown, North Carolina! 
love the physicality of this offense. It's third and goal. It's money time. I've got to be more physical than you. And that's exactly what this offense just did. Put the ball on the ground and put it in the end zone. He'll try the right side. He has the first and still on his feet. Starting to get things moving. It's first and ten. Looking to move it through the air. He's got an open man. And he ran away from the crowd and he'll take it in. Extra point away from tying this football game. You trailed a little bit in the first half, stayed calm. If this passing game can continue to heat up, look out in the second half. It's coming out of his hands. The defense better do something different. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. And he breaks into the open. Oh, it's out. That is a serendipitous turn of events with the fumble going out of bounds. They'll maintain possession. Well, they've got a really nice drive going on offense. They're on their opponent's side of the field, but you're not going to come away with any points if you turn it over. And they've got to do a better job of ball security. Very, very lucky that ball went out of bounds. so good as a quarterback because the windows they open and they close so quickly in this part of the field and he runs it in for the score touchdown UNC and that is exactly what you want from your office man late in the half you want to execute and then punch it in physically on the ground take the lead going into the half take all the momentum nice execution in the drive by that offense Inside their 20. Throws to the tight end. Got him downfield. And they are pushing the ball down the field. A big pickup on that one in the tackle. On third and long, try to convert through the air. He's got it. Now well within striking distance as that third down play gets him a Make the big play, stop the bleed, and have a long drive, and really shift that momentum back to your offense. And that is no good. And they couldn't cut into the lead. It's still a seven-point game. That's the end of the second quarter. That means it's time to join Kevin in our halftime update. Thanks, guys. What a scene there in Chapel Hill. What a fine performance we've seen. And I get it. A lot of coaches will say the difference between winning and losing comes down to stopping big plays and getting big plays. But if you ask me, it's more about how good you are on third down and how efficient you are in keeping drives alive. Those two stats can help you break the will of even the best defenses and help you come out on top. And with that, let's send it back to the guys there on Stadium Drive at Keenan Memorial. First down here for the offense. Use the play fake, now to throw. And that pressure just engulfed him, a sack for this defense. The Irish generating heat from the linebacker position. Uh, Mike Stonebreaker, Manti Teo type play. Hey, when you can get linebackers that can get after the quarterback, that can be a force on first, second, and third down, getting the quarterback. 
Looking downfield, and he needs a bunch. Pulls it in. It's Johnson. And he was on. The tight end position and how much has changed. Back in the day, you're a blocking guy. Maybe you get a flat route. And the freshman will chalk up a sack. And how about the defense getting home with the pass rush? Playing man coverage in the back end. You need to win up front. Those guys got to get to the quarterback. Do a great job rushing the passer. I can play man when I got a pass rush like that. Looks as if this will be a 51-yard attempt. The official says no good. And the margin is still seven after the miss, guys. Palmer, I think you got to stay aggressive and don't settle for field goals. Yeah, because you got to know there's just no margin for error right now. You just have got to be able to execute at a higher level. He found plenty of room and he gets it to the 39 yard line. He's starting to get in touch. Rides to the back. Got the first down. Looking for more. He's got. And, and right here just chews up another first down gives you another chance to make it continue to run the football and I feel like this guy too is just an explosive play waiting and he showed all of those attributes right there different wide receivers. He's really in a good groove the last couple games. And he got enough defense and understanding when I need to come through that gap and come through with bad intentions. Those guys are usually 245 pounds of heat seeking miss. Go on the last drive. Off play action. Looking left. And the ball is intercepted. And he's wrapped up after a solid return on the pick. Most defenses are lucky if you have one good covering corner. Fewer are lucky if you have two. They've got three DBs, three corners that can play at the same time in their nickel package that they feel can go mano a mano with anyone in the country. And you saw it on that last play coming away with the pick. Scored a touchdown the last time they had it. Defense gets a stop, and now it's up to them in a tie game. All right, so if you're the off... And he's running in the open. He's at the 30. The 10. He's so dangerous that he gets into the second level. Great vision, and then David shows you the speed. Just straight wheels, erasing angles. A lot of times when you're chasing guys that are so fast like this, you're like, I got him, I got him. No, I do not. What a big, long touchdown run. Pad those stats, young fella. drive piece together some first downs get in position and here they are on first and ten it's complete on the right side they'll try the run got the first down and still on his feet nothing in the second half it's first and ten to the air it's Harold he's got it on the move touchdown Tar Heel and they add six more to the board with that trip to the house Field shrinks, tight end grows. Big targets, big results. <laughs> I've never heard it put that way, but you're dang right. That guy is so big. A lot of times you get a DB matched up on him, he can just post him up. A linebacker, he can run by him. So that's why these tight ends are so dangerous down here in this red zone. The give to the left. Discards a man. Because from here, it would be a 61-yard attempt. Finally pulled down. 
They'll leave it with him. And he goes out of... They'll try to get it in with the run. They get him on everybody's hero. And he missed it. No good. And in the final quarter of regulation, we remain tied. Well, everybody in the stadium thought that was an automatic three. Not so fast. Bad miss by the kicker. Okay, long way to go here. Are you content to play for overtime, Dave? And that's the question. Don't make the mistake here. You can be aggressive, Jesse, but you better be cautious. Yeah, I, I think taking a shot, I feel pretty good about it here. You know, give your guys an opportunity. Crazier things have happened. All right, guys, so here we go in overtime. And just to refresh everyone's memory, alternating possession starting on the opponent's 25. And you want to play defense first because you want to know what you need. That's a key philosophical approach for most teams when it comes to overtime, David. Yeah, and remember the rule change a couple years ago, too, in, in the second overtime and two-point conversion. So all this stuff is situational-type football. That you They think they can create space here with a run to the right. What a nifty... They go to the ground. Touchdown, Notre Dame! They take the lead here in overtime. Following the block, the offensive line will take you to the Hallelujah Land. And I'll tell you what, most of the time, Reese, it requires a little bit of skill to find that hole and... You know, slither through a little crack. That was not a crack. That was... To the air, it's Harold. He looks that one in nicely. They stop him. Hand off to the single back. Got some room in to the goal line. The running back does a great job finding the hole, exploding through. How about that? Touchdown, North Carolina! They got it in the end zone. Now a decision to make with a point after. First off, really impressed by how physical this guy is still running the ball this late in the game. But now it's decision time. You want to play it safe, kick the extra point, or are you feeling aggressive to go for two points? And I think this is all about how you feel about your defense and how you feel about this game extending. Do, do I have a chance? Do I have better? clean tackles, but they are going to let you know they're there. And they're going to let you know for 60. Pass rush coming after the quarterback, and they get him at the 32. Man, this offense has been bad. How about the first play? Nowhere to go, nowhere to run, tackle for a loss. Second play, you get your quarterback sacked. And the third play, now we're sitting in third and long, right where this defense wants to get us. Looking for a man. It's Harold. It's complete to the left. And that's not there. He's making the right reads. Right now, he is locked into what this defense is trying to do. He's not going to get there. Stopped short on fourth down. And how about the defense coming up big on fourth and short? In overtime. Easy. Using his legs. It's love. Sweet cut there. That's why they run this. When you're trying to run there as fast as you possibly can, a lot of times you don't get to put a good hit on them. They get in winner! What a finish in double overtime with a touchdown! My punch rate is still through the roof on this game. I would have called that one for free. I don't want to get carried away there, but it was a really fun game and a great win. <laughs> It really was. I know we're all up here. We're bouncing around. We're excited after having seen what we just saw. What a great win for this team to go out and do it in overtime. That's the type of game that fans are going to be talking about for a long time, David. Free. Yeah, right. If you know Reese Davis, that is not happening. But we got a free game that was awesome. Back and forth, nip and tuck, and bonus time. You got some free overtime play in that one. That's going to do it for us from here. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, I'm Reese Davis, and this has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.